had a taste of warmer weather this week, but cooler temperatures followed and look to be in store for eastern Nebraska next week. Weed development in this area of the state hasn't been rapid and that might be a benefit for pre-emergence management. On a windy Thursday morning, we talked with UNL Extension Weed Science Educator Lowell Sandell about how slow weed growth could help farmers be more efficient in their control. It seems like we're a little bit behind uh, this year. Um, we did have some good rain last fall, which got the winter annuals off to a, a good start uh, last fall. I think if guys get out and scout their fields, uh, they're going to see some mare's tail uh, out there. They're going to see some hen bit, uh, but with the cool temperatures we've had, uh, it seems like it's, it's a little slow developing uh, this spring, which I think is actually somewhat of a positive because when guys go out and put on uh, their burn down or uh, their pre-emergence application, it means we're going to be applying those to smaller plants and those herbicides uh, have a pretty good chance of doing a really good job. Mayor still is one that you're very aware of this year? Yeah, so in 2013, I think we had a relatively light uh, mare's tail uh, year because of the drought in, in, in the fall of 2012 there. We didn't see a, a lot of emergence. Um, in the fall of 2013, we had, we had some good uh, rains and, and decent soil moisture and it, it got a lot of the mare's tail up and growing. Uh, on that. So if guys really go out and look, uh, I think they'll see um, they'll see quite a bit of mare's tail if they've had it in their fields in the past. And being aware of that and getting on that early, I think will pay big dividends here in 2014. Right. Where we are in the year is a lot of other stuff behind normal in terms of growing? Yeah, it, it seems like uh, um, some of the weeds that we typically see by uh, mid-April here, uh, we're just not seeing quite yet. So I think temperature-wise, we're, we're just a shade behind. If it starts to warm up pretty good here, I think we'll see um, kochia, giant ragweed, uh, sunflowers, and some of those real early germinating summer annuals uh, coming up pretty quick here. Um, but if guys can get out in the next two weeks and get uh, pre-emergence and burn down on, uh, I think they'll have, I think they'll perform pretty well this year. It was uh, low 80s here yesterday. Today's not as pleasant. If it does stay cooler, describe to me uh, the efficiency of some herbicides related to the temperature. Yeah, when we, sometimes we get concerned about real cold temperatures at night and a reduction in herbicide performance, uh, particularly with glyphosate. And when we get nighttime temperatures dropping into the 30s, uh, sometimes glyphosate doesn't work quite as well as, as, as we might like it to on there. So uh, watching the weather and seeing uh, if, or kind of maybe timing uh, application uh, around when we have, uh, you know, good sunny, uh, a string of three or four days of good sunny weather uh, without uh, nighttime temperatures really dropping into the low 40s and 30s. Um, as long as we can avoid that, uh, herbicides, uh, pre-emergence herbicides should do a good job. We've discussed these two weeds in the past, but giant ragweed and kochia, they've seen some resistance issues. Anything to keep in mind? Yeah, so in the western part of the state, kochia is a big deal. Um, kochia should be germinating. If it's not germinating right now, it should be uh, germinating shortly. Uh, same thing with giant ragweed. Um, guys have had problems with those. Uh, scout those fields uh, before, you, before you apply. If they're up, uh, make sure that your burn down herbicide program is going to be uh, effective uh, on kochia and giant ragweed. Uh, because we, we kind of see that if guys don't get it in that first pass, it becomes very difficult uh, to clean them up with subsequent passes. So being very uh, thorough with that uh, first application and making good choices there is the key to good control of those weeds. Regarding spring planting, the CropWatch website features soil temperature maps for the state of Nebraska. We'll link to that site on the Market Journal homepage.